Starting a profitable cannabis grow room is the holy grail of the industry. Unfortunately, the increasing supply of legal cannabis is presenting a financial challenge to producers. As prices drop, while the chance for companies to decrease production costs has risen, as supply is surging, growers are taking advantage of the latest agricultural technology and investing millions of dollars in colossal marijuana factories and farms. Simultaneously, the average price sought by wholesalers has decreased. Clearly, changes in the air. So here are some things to, to consider. Companies that originally developed fertilizers and high efficiency agricultural systems for ordinary crops have begun investing in the cannabis industry. Now working on improving irrigation systems and lighting conditions for indoor growing. It is estimated that the regulated market in North America could increase to over $20 billion in five years as a result of recreational cannabis legalization in California, Nevada, Massachusetts, and Maine. Indeed, over half of the states in the U.S. have legalized either medical or recreational cannabis use. Unfortunately, transporting cannabis across state lines is still a federal crime. Therefore, each state is its own cannabis market, and in states like Maine and Massachusetts, the warm, tropical-like weather conditions favored by cannabis plants are absolutely necessary to generate for the success of growers in those states. So, purchase the proper cannabis equipment. Producing cannabis in basements and warehouses was popular due to prohibition, but with legalization, there exists a competition on cost, and it is expected that the cannabis industry will shift to more efficient greenhouse production methods. An example of this is a hybrid greenhouse that captures light from the sun with insulated walls, climate control, and a ceiling compo composed of glass. This ensures that less energy is ultimately consumed. Supplemental lighting and light deprivation methods can be used in greenhouses to further minimize energy consumption. For example, LED lights and induction work best for vegetative growth, while compact fluorescents are best for cloning purposes. Additionally, incorporating lean processes through mechanized technologies can help create an efficient workflow. For example, producers can implement mechanized potting machines and conveyor belts to transfer plants to particular areas of the facility. Next, avoid waste. To avoid wasting time walking around and looking for employees, information, or tools, walkie-talkies might very well be useful. To prevent constantly having to restock an item once it is out, growers should implement inventory tracking so that items going out of stock can be quickly anticipated. Lastly, and as trivial as it may sound, the small details such as lunch times and decontamination times must be considered. It may be ideal to provide employees with a lunchroom to minimize the number of employees having to leave and decontaminate every time they maneuver in and out of the facility. Of course, producers may want to go the extra step and provide lunch for their employees. Time is money. It applies to all businesses and with the decreasing product prices in the cannabis industry, reducing production costs and moving to more efficient measures is essential. This has been another video from THC Legal Group. We're going to be putting forward a lot more videos like this in the future. Until then, click subscribe below. We'll see you next time.